Amanda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, I'm super excited because we are unboxing the Glitz Glam Box for March 2020. Glitz Glam Box is $15 a month. You pay $2.99 in shipping and usually you get a glitter and lashes in every bag. I have really been enjoying Glitz Glam because they carry more indie brands and also build up my lash collection. My Glitz Glam Box playlist will be linked to watch previous unboxings and if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. The pack Packaging always changes for Glitz Glam. The bubble wrap, I've seen it in various different colors. I've also received a box. I like how they keep things fresh, but they always keep their sticker on it. So you know it's Glitz Glam. And our products are inside this cute little sticker. And ta-da! We also got to customize Glitz Glam. You could either choose Peacock, Zebra, and I think Leopard. And I chose Peacock. I guess it's fitting that I have a blue eye look because everything I got was blue-ish maybe we have this rude cosmetics eyeliner slash eyeshadow this retails for five dollars and fifty cents i like this blue theme blue tissue paper blue eye look blue eyeliner slash eyeshadow i am just going all savage trying to get this out help help send help i've tried a couple products from rude yeah that leopardina palette i can't decide if i'm gonna keep or deposit it i still have mixed feelings about it oh it's pretty I feel like this is gonna have to be layered a lot. And this is what the swatch looks like. Yeah, definitely for eyeliner, it's gonna need some layering. But for eyeshadow, maybe it actually would look really nice as like a halo. Really don't wanna sabotage this look. But I like this color a lot. I've been loving the color blue. Who knows? Maybe I'll explore this with blue blood a little bit. I don't really reach for cream shadows like this at all. So I don't know if I would necessarily reach for it. But I'm kind of intrigued because I really like this color. Maybe it's my eyeshadow that I'm a little bit more drawn to it. Ooh, it's a mystery with a question mark. Ooh, let's see. What is this? I don't know. There's still a question mark. I'm gonna open it and see. Ooh, it's a little eyeshadow duo. I think that these colors would actually go so nice together. I know, basic bitch B with a neutral look and a pop of color on the waterline. Yes. Oh, and it says, why do you doubt yourself? I don't doubt myself. I know I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that is creamy. Oh, that shimmer. Oh, wow. Do they have names? I don't know. Oh, wow. I love that. I'm a little nervous for this blue shade, how that's going to blend out. I foresee seeing patchiness or looking like a raccoon, but damn, look at that shimmer though. Oh, this is by Y Cosmetics. Oh, that's why there's a question mark. <laughs> and it retails for $16. So essentially each shade retails for $8. A little expensive, but the, I think that shimmer is worth it. Not gonna lie. I was having some issues customizing my Glitz Glam because we were supposed to get an email that says it's time to customize. I never got an email. So I messaged her on Instagram. I said, hey, how do I customize? I really want Peacock. I was really drawn towards this shimmer and then this blue eyeliner. I think Zebra was more for like smoky eye and maybe it's leopard don't quote me on that was a little bit more neutral she said send me your email so i did get an email that said your bag renewed i've never received one of those emails before <laughs> i just see it on my credit card statement hopefully for april if there is customization that i will get that email as well as if i want to double or triple the glam and you could have double or tripled the glam of the variations or you could have tripled the glam to get all three i was very tempted to double or triple the glam but i was also upgraded to a second boxy premium this month so i was just a little hesitant so maybe april we'll see and then we have some lashes oh i like this style as well these are by base blue cosmetics and they retail for 12 dollars. get up to 20 uses with these weightless fine hairs and fluttery finish and these retail for 12 dollars. i don't think i've tried anything from base blue that name isn't ringing any bells i am loving these i can't wait to try those we have a lipstick Ooh. What is this? Oh wow, I don't think I would use this lipstick at all. Should we give it a shot? It's from Glitz Glam. Glitz Glam does make some other products. They usually make the glitters, but it looks like we got a lipstick to change it up. Okay, this actually might not be as scary. I got the shade Trinity, which is gold. That's what it looks like swatched. It's almost like a pretty gloss shade, but in a bullet lipstick form, if that makes sense. I'm really intrigued to see how that's gonna show up on the lips. And then we have a nude lip liner by Nobby Cosmetics that we for two dollars Ooh. so maybe filling in my lips with the lip liner and then putting the lipstick over it will be a nice duo so this was glitz glam for march 2020 i really enjoyed it i think 
This shimmer still has me in some shock right now. Aside from the brand Glitz Glam, I've only tried one other brand, which was Rude Cosmetics. So I'm really excited to give a lot of these brands a shot. I think this shimmer shade is gonna be like my new favorite, especially for like work or just going out looks. Just put it all over your lid with some eyeliner and mascara, lipstick, call it a day. But I'm curious to see how it's gonna work out with that blue matte shade. Hopefully it works out nice. Maybe blend it out in the crease and then going in with the shimmer shade or just putting the shimmer shade on your lid and then the blue shade on your waterline. That's how I see that this duo will work hand in hand together. I definitely wanna try this Rude 2-in-1 using the Blue Blood or even the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. I think that this is going to enhance it a little bit more, add like that extra shimmer effect like on the lid. And I'm excited to give these two lip products a shot. I hope that they work together and if not, if I have some other lip products similar or closely related to the colors of them to be able to keep them around or sadly decluttered. Coming in at my second favorite product, the lashes. Oh my gosh, I just think that these are so pretty and it's gonna go with so many different looks, whether it be neutral, smoky, or colorful. I think that these lashes are gonna get so much use out of them. I'm supposed to get 20 uses, but we'll see if we can push that. I try to get at least 30 uses because I just don't have that many lashes and that's why I really like this box to be able to build up that collection. I would love to know if you guys get Glitz Glam Box. Did you guys get the same peacock variation as me or did you get zebra or leopard i'm pretty sure the other one was leopard watch it not be leopard and if you didn't get peacock how did the other ones work out for you let me know what your eyeshadow duo and your rude two-in-one lipstick and lip liner colors were did you double or triple the glam and are you guys excited for april's box thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't i appreciate your view anyways and i'll see you in the next video